Yo, what is up guys? My name is Crispy Stead and today we're gonna be learning how to do these two text effects. They're really, really simple, really, really clutch for your guys' short form content. And the best part is, is it's super easy to do, which makes it repeatable. So let's go ahead and get started right now. All right, guys. So here's the footage that we're working with. It's actually my ghost unboxing video. So for the first step, what you guys want to do is go ahead and get text onto the timeline. I'm just going to go ahead and use the word ghost. And I'm going to control A, select all of it. Go to the effects tab, go to central graphics over here, center align text, just get it centered onto the screen for now. And then uh, vertically and horizontally. And then now it's completely centered. So I'm going to go ahead and make this actually, I'm just going to keep it a nice yellow color. So let's go ahead, just make it big for tutorial sake, just so that way you guys can see what's going on. For me, I really like to keep um, the shadow on. I like to make it completely black, 100 opacity, and I like to just crank up the size of it. So that way it's kind of like a more feathered look. Again, here's after the shadow and here's before. It just adds a little bit more contrast and separation from the background. Super, super simple. The first effect is essentially a glow. So the way we add this glow, there's so many different ways to do it. But the way that I like to do it is go ahead, control, actually option and just drag up on Mac. I believe it's alt for windows. I'm not entirely too sure. It's one of those keys to just duplicate it. Um, if you guys can't, if you don't know the keyboard shortcut, all you have to do is just right click and then go ahead, copy and just go over here, paste it, and then just drag it up and over. Super, super simple. So once you duplicate the effect, all you have to go ahead and do, type in Gaussian Blur, and this is essentially where the effect takes place. It's just in this Gaussian Blur. You wanna crank up the blurriness pretty high, and you'll start to kind of see the glowing effect kind of take place. Now, right now this looks terrible, so let's go ahead and just, you know, just kind of get it uh, to where it looks pretty decent, and I would say that's pretty decent. Um, just really play around with the values and kind of the glow that you're looking for. Like this even looks pretty good too, so. I might honestly go with this. And then the next step to make it really like sort of clean and saucy is you just play around with the opacity. So you go down to opacity, you just turn it down again to just wherever it looks pretty good. Um, honestly, I get like pretty low. So let's just do like a 22%, 17%. Yeah, 17% looks pretty good because it's still super subtle. So that's without it, that's with the glow. And the thing that's dope with the uh, glows, you can change the color just simply by changing the color of the text layer. So you go back to essential graphics, text, and then you can change it to like a white glow if you want. Um, again, you probably just want to keep it the same color. It looks the best. It looks more natural. Now, if you guys want to go ahead and create a preset for this, all you have to do is um, hold command or alt on this sort of adjustment. And then you also go to opacity, you select it, right click, save preset, and then you save it as like a blurry preset. So I'm going to click it, uh, text glow preset. And then you can even tell yourself like duplicate and you can just hit okay, call it a good. I'm not going to, cause I already have it inside of my preset pack, which by the way, if you guys want to go ahead and cop that, it's only $37 on my online store right now. It has 30 plus drag and drop presets for you guys to use. So that way you can speed up your workflow, get better edits in a shorter amount of time. I use these presets each and every single day. So I highly recommend you guys copying them as well. Now for the second text effect, I call it the glitchy text effect super super easy to do all you guys want to go ahead and do is go to your effects select your text go to effects type in venetian blinds and what this effect does is it kind of adds that crt sort of scan line effect and all you want to do is go ahead change the direction to 90 degrees and then the completion percentage to whatever value looks the best now as you can see when you drag this up it sort of adds more lines but also the uh it looks kind of weird. There's too much like gaps going on. So the way you fix it is you go ahead, you change the width, you turn it down as much as you can, um, as much as you want. So I'm going to go ahead, try about maybe 12, 10. Still looks a little wide. Let's go ahead. Six looks a little too, too thin. So let's go ahead. Nine, nine looks about good for me. And we can change the completion sort of value. It's just whatever looks kind of good. And honestly, I, I like that a lot more. So let's go ahead and do that. That's looking pretty good. Let's go ahead and zoom out real quick. We kind of have half of the effect already done. The other half is kind of just a little bit of extra sauce and it is called turbulent displace. Go ahead, drag and drop it on your thing. And at first it's gonna be super crazy and it's gonna just be weird. Go over here to complexity. You turn up the complexity to about five, whatever. It's gonna look crazy right now. And then you change the size to about 10. Now this looks actually terrible. So let's go ahead and play around with these settings. Okay, so I went ahead and played with the settings and like about 16 and then the size, you really just play with it until like it looks good. You can go for a crazy look or you could even just go for a more subtle look like even this. And then you just change the amount of like how, how much turbulence you want. 
Um, and for me, that looks about good. So like 24, 12, 16, 10, it doesn't really matter. Just kind of go off what looks good to you for the visuals. And then you go ahead and keyframe the evolution. And this is essentially the actual motion of the, um, the turbulence. So let's go ahead and start with zero degrees and let's go ahead and just do it to something like 200. It's keyframe beginning and end. And you'll see it moving like that. So it looks like a glitch effect. So dope. Now that you have this done. So now after you have created this effect, what you want to do is you want to go ahead, select this, the turbulent displays and Venetian blinds. And then you want to go ahead, right click, save preset, uh, just whatever glitch text, whatever. And the biggest thing for this effect, you don't want it to anchor it to the endpoint. You want it to scale throughout the entire thing. So that way, when you drag and drop it onto your text, the movement will be throughout the entire line of text rather than just the endpoint, And then it stops after a certain number of keyframes, if that makes sense. Now you went ahead and created that, you just hit okay. And now you have an effect you can use for the rest of your editing career. So now that you have followed this tutorial, you can now go ahead and use the presets that you have created. It's simple as this, going to the text, duplicating it, drag and dropping. Dope, you got the glow. That's the first effect. If you want the glitch effect, all you have to do, drag and drop. And that is the power presets, guys. Again, don't be sleeping on them. Make sure as you're editing, learning new things, you're implementing and creating presets. But then again, if you want to go ahead and use the presets that I use each and every single day in my workflow, feel free to cop them at my stand store or in the link below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember, take action, take over. Peace out. I don't pull up in that big road. I don't pull up in front of I didn't get it.